Hey everybody, so for today's quick tip, we're just gonna go over some engraving. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, to start with, we'll just create a rectangle here as our uh, representing the size of the, the stock that we, we might be working on, okay? Uh, in order to add text to your drawing, you just go to create 2D. We can go to text. We can say sample, one, two, three, four. Uh, you'll notice that you have Windows fonts or Bobcad fonts. Uh, if you have Windows fonts, you can use any true type or open type font that is on your computer. Um, if you're like a plasma guy, they have some stencil fonts so that they're they're broken out so you don't have to worry about the drop. That's uh, usually a good idea. But a lot of times if you're just trying to do part marking or like part numbers or something like that, you may want a center line font. So if we go to the Bobcad font section, uh, there's a number of AFN fonts. Uh, some of these are centerline, some of them aren't. The one that I want to go to is just the Bobcad default. Uh, this will give you a real simple text that you can use for part numbers and things like that. Now, in this box here, you can copy and paste code. So if you're engraving like a paragraph and a bunch of words, you can do that. Um, you can just copy and paste in here and you have left justification, you could center it, you have right justification, you can do bold and stuff like that. Um, you'll also have your reference location. So if you wanna change how your uh, text is referenced, we give you a bunch of different tools that you can use to adjust. Uh, you can enter where you want that text to be uh, or you can also just drag it based off of that reference point and move it around uh, wherever you need it to be on your design. Uh, there are some additional parameters here as far as the maybe the height of the, the text. You can make it bigger or smaller. Um, you can also put it on an angle if you wanted. Uh, you can add some additional spacing between the letters. So lots of different options for you there, okay? Um, let's go ahead and choose okay and then cancel. Now, if you wanted your text to be laid out a little bit differently, uh, I believe we did a quick tip on fit text to curve, so you could look for that one. Maybe we'll throw a card up here uh, for the workflow on that. So on the top right here, somewhere on the screen, you'll see a card for the fit text to curve quick tip video. Other than that, we have a, a rectangle that representing our part geometry. We have some text. We're ready to get in and get the job set up. So we'll go into our cam tree, uh, create a new job. We'll just run through and set our zero. Okay, from here, we're gonna right click on the machine setup. We're gonna come down to mill to axis. We'll choose select geometry. We'll window pick the geometry that we wanna work with. Again, we can type in the depth that we wanna go and we'll choose okay. From here, we'll jump into our machining strategy. We're gonna choose an engraving cycle and then choose next. Uh, once we've set our engraving uh, strategy, the last thing really we need to do is just uh, you know pick a tool that makes sense. You could use a small end mill, you might use a ball mill. In this example, I'm gonna use a V cutter, 90 degree, 3 eighths V cutter uh, to get in there and do our engraving. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna compute. We'll see that we get our tool path over here. Uh, we can come back and back plot this. So this way we can see where the tool starts, where it ends, and what direction it cuts.